our next guest is bringing autism awareness to our cell phones and tablets. Here to explain is licensed marriage and family therapist as well as best-selling author Jamie Lynn Juarez. How you doing? I'm awesome. Welcome to the show, of course. This is impressive, I just got to say. But before we get to the details of the book, how does the educational app and game Your Child Can Type actually work? Tell us about that. Sure, of course. So it's based off of neuroplasticity. So in our field of education and psychotherapy, we've seen a huge growth in the research on how the brain has healing properties and that we can specifically target different areas of the brain through digital applications and games by working on working memory, reading, spelling, typing. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. This is actually uh, cell phones working to our benefit. Yes. Right? Not sucking our energy. Uh, giving us something to work with. Okay, talk a bit about the most challenging aspects to autism presently. Well, this is an interesting question depending on if you ask, ask the individual with autism themselves. So they often purport feeling misunderstood. Uh, some bullying, of course, occurs. Mm -hmm. The isolation that you generally see with mental health and then if you ask the parents, the biggest challenge that they have is accessing care. They need a roadmap in the different areas to be able to work on the improvements of their children then of course address those issues of being misunderstood, mm -hmm. stigma, mm -hmm. etc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad you're here. I'm raising awareness yet again. What made you want to do this? So, of course, I was in graduate school studying to be a clinician with a specialty in behavioral analysis when my son became diagnosed. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this is obviously, talk about close to home. Yeah, it was definitely close to home mm -hmm. when he became uh diagnosed with autism some of the research was still stagnant and i needed to discover the quickest and most possible way to bring yeah. out his voice mm -hmm. within him a third of the population with autism is nonverbal, and mm -hmm. so there's a misunderstanding that these children can't communicate and learn and mm -hmm. as a mother of course i just refuse to believe that yeah. talk about getting hands on it's impressive <laughs> my you. goodness all right so tell me about this as far as uh, kids living with autism is it safe to assume that they all have gifts kind of unknown to the world? Yeah, depending on the spectrum of the population of autism we're looking at. So many of us are familiar with the mild or the what we used to call Asperger's, the high functioning. So mm -hmm. a lot of them have gifts of poetry, you know, mathematical skills, comedians. And so that's pretty known to the population that they have gifts. Mm -hmm. Well, when it comes to the moderate to severe, because 56% of them are diagnosed with a mental disability, we're missing a lot of these gifts and that's why I wrote the book and the mm -hmm. app developed is that they can communicate. Mm -hmm. They are beautiful and gifted mm -hmm. and capable when they get those services that they really need. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right. And they can really <laughs> tap in. This isn't really impressive. All right. Let's talk about treatments and uh, how they're being improved. Well, or are they being improved? <laughs> they are. I think it's just access to care and giving the family the roadmap. So mm -hmm. when we're looking at medical, academic, behavioral, spiritual, mm -hmm. the neuroscience and the neuroplasticity is revolutionizing the world. So your child can type and zing performance and rapid prompting methods. So all of these cutting edge technologies are being developed. Mm -hmm. It's really about getting the access to the family, but we're making some progress. Well said. Okay. Tell me this. What are ways to improve the autism community? Community and how can we help? I think awareness. I mean, it's Autism Awareness Month, and so many in the community are aware that we have an epidemic, mm -hmm. but we have to go the next step and be action oriented with those medical, especially biomedical, the, the medical community along with neuroscience is evolving. So if we really address that mm -hmm. and bring the action into the school districts and the medical community, I think we're going to, we're going to be much more successful than we have been. Wonderful. Uh, this is fantastic. To learn more about this unique app or to find out more about Autism Awareness, reach out to Jamie Lynn at the number on your screen and uh, pick up this book. A big thanks to Jamie Lynn for being here. And a big thanks to you. We'll see you in just a moment.